Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online, the Slow Tro Edition. This is Norman A here, say hello to everyone Norman A. Good girl, man it has been a few days, time flies, I did not realize so much time had gone by, until I went on and realized it said it had been six days since I'd logged in, and I know the last thing I did was on Narlo, so I think it's been nine or ten days now since we were last running Norman A here. Time just flies. It doesn't seem that long. I was thinking like six, seven days. Boy, I tell you. Just busy, busy, busy these days. Anyhow, what we are going to do right now is first I'm going to... There we go. See if my little personal light works, and it does. Well, we are going to head on down toward the Midgewater Marshes here. I think we have taken care of pretty much all of the Hobbit personal problems up here on this part this side of the marshes instead we are going to head on down i'm doing kind of a doing kind of a weaving pattern here making sure that nobody's got any rings over their heads i don't think that they should but we're going to head on down we're going to do the two chieftains the Neekers in the marshes oh we need to talk to eddie twiggins and that's the one that's deep down into the the marsh be able to find them. I think they're down there. They got like a uh, Neeker Breaker. They should be on that hill, I believe. Down there in the marsh. And Grobo Dogwart's home. No, I don't remember Dogwart's shed. Yeah, I don't remember. Hmm, let's go in Dogwart's home. I don't know if I've ever been in here or why it's even a place you can go into. Let's take a look right quick. I am not sure I have ever been in Mr. Dogwart's home here. I'm not going to do a not going to do a Zelda or an Elder Scrolls or a, a Ultima. I'm not going to come in and and rob the place and break open all his pots and see what's in here. Let's take a look at Grabo Dogwart. Hello, Mr. Dogwart. You sure have a lot of furniture and stuff just kind of piled up everywhere interesting little hobbit hole you do have there what's in your shed can we get into the shed yes we can your shed's actually a little bit cleaner and more spacious than your hobbit hole is hmm I wonder what this goes to what kind of what kind of uh He's got three cots in his shed. With beans and all. There's a knife stuck in the table. Interesting. Are you either being blackmailed? Are you being blackmailed by the uh, bandits up the hill? Or are you cooperating with the black bandits up the hill? What exactly have you got going on, Mr. Dogwart? That is weird. I've never been in there. Like I said, I don't know what if any quest what if any quest works on it. We'll have to look into that sometime. Alright, does not look like anybody over this way has any quest left. So we are gonna proceed into the Midgewater Marshes. Let's bring Bobo up this time. And we're gonna do the two chieftains where we have to travel way over there if it was daylight you could see like almost a a amphitheater type half collapsed dome building over there that we're going to go to and then just before we get there a little hill overlooking it we should find Edda Twiggins but right over here are the sunken stones we need to kill three goblins over here at the sunken stones that is the ruins over here in this particular general area that we should have triggered it already because I'm thinking this area right in here is called the sunken stones I 
is it back in these trees here? I was thinking it's like the area there with the... Any goblins popping up at all? Yeah, we're back in the Chetwood again. Okay. Then I guess it is the... the ruins right over here. Let's go over to the ruins and see if the sunken stones, if that pops up, if that's what those are called. And then there should be some goblins in the area. That should be our first clue. Goblins there and goblins at the goblin hole. Now the goblin hole is over there where we're going to find those two chieftains. There is an entire entire area of goblins over there. Now, in the old days, anyway, the sickle flies would attack you, whether they still will or not. Okay, it looks like there's a goblin... Yep, goblin camp there. Sunken stones, there we are. Hmm, let us hit him with cracked earth. That'll give it the root. Wow. That didn't take much of a much, did it? Down he goes. All right. Well, light blues aren't much in this part. Let's get near the sickle fly. Yep, sickle flies are still aggro. They do still attack you. But the bear should make short work of him. Okay. Now. Let's start getting toward... And that ruin in the middle there, that's an old Dunedain ruin that is absolutely crawling with spiders. The LB quest to deal with that soon enough, I am sure. But one of these hills here should have a camp on top of it. Bentwater Sapper. That should be the goblin hole right there. It's just a matter of finding the person's camp. There, perhaps? Let's go down and see. Yep, there we go. You see the little lean-to here. There's Edda. There's Broderick Nika, our friend. That's the guy I was thinking of. And Bill Mossfoot. What is Bill Mossfoot? Bill Mossfoot's got a uh, quest continuation circle over his head. Ooh, you're a ranger. What you say? The two goblin chieftains... Gurasats and Gururam are sure to be near each other in order to ensure neither of them is scheming against the other. Their camp is among the Goblin Hole ruins in the southern stretch of the Midgewater Marshes. Well, yeah, we know that. We can actually see them right over yonder. Let's talk to Edda. Now, Edda was the one we need to talk to about the Neekers in the Marshes. And it has been a couple of episodes... Everyone is talking about the goblins these days, but I'm worried about something other than the goblins. The sound of the Nikabreakers in the Midgewater Marshes has gotten much louder recently. There are many more of them than there used to be. I'm sure of it. I'm afraid that before long they will move out of the marshes and descend upon the town. If you could kill a few of them, you would be doing this town a great service. The Midgewater Marshes are east of Staddle beyond Swap Midge's farm. When you are done, seek out Etta Twiggins in the southeastern reaches of the Mishwater Marshes. She will be happy to hear of your progress. Hello, Etta. What do you need? Excellent, Norbune. It will be a while before the Nikabreaker population again grows to be a threat to Stado. It is good to know I can rely on you to deal with dangers to the town that do not walk on two legs. 
Still, I fear everyone is so excited about the goblins that they've forgotten the other dangers look in the marshes. There's another threat I would ask your assistance with. Sure. Stay a moment. Spiders in the Midgewater. There you go. Told you we'd see the spiders soon enough. The Midgewater marshes hide many dangerous creatures, as you have seen, and I intend to make sure that all these threats to the people of Stadler are addressed. I've heard the farmers complaining about finding a particularly deadly breed of spider crawling in their fields. It seems that their patience is focused their presence is focused somewhere between the old Midgewater Marshwater Fort and the wood sedge ruins in the marshes. They have overrun both these old ruins, and I wonder what might happen if they decide to come to Staddle in greater numbers. I would appreciate it if you would lessen the threat by killing a few of these dreadful creatures and their queen. So we gotta kill six of the brood watchers, or the grunts, four of the marsh spiders, which are the more mainline warriors, and then the Marsh Queen. I wore Reedy's hat for quite a while on one of my characters too. And I think Glenorin walked around with the Watcher's Axe. Alright, we will take that on. Let's talk to Mr. Roderick Neeker friend here. Mr. Neeker, with your Neeker in your uh, cage there. You're an odd fellow. Can I speak with you a moment? Neeker friend. Hello there. Enjoying a nice stroll through the marshes. I don't meet too many folk that can stand the smell, or the bugs, or the damp. So it's always nice to meet a kindred spirit. Say hello, S Sneakin? Who's a good boy then? The Neeker Breaker in the cage responds only with an angry clicking sound. That wasn't nice, Sneakin. I don't know what's gotten into you. He might be hungry. In fact, he might be wanting his favorite food, sickle fly wings. If you kill a few of the greater sickle flies, you might find enough wings to send a fly Snicken. That might cheer him right up. Snicken's Fang and Roderick's Key. If I remember Roderick's Key is what you use to open the chest. Yeah. And we definitely want to see what's inside the chest there. We can't use the dagger anyway. So we will definitely take advantage of taking a few of those. Did not have to go very far to hit to the goblin hole, did we? Okay, let's move back a little bit. And I'm going to hit them with... Cracter. And I'm going to hit this one. Blinding flash. Burning embers. And down he goes. Not going to take long to take out the goblins, especially being that we got to come down here anyway to get to the two chieftains. Hmm, supply crates. Uh, oh, there we go. There's one of them in there. Okay, that has reset itself. So cracked him, cracked earth him to death. And down he goes. We got Gur's stats down. We've got the. Oh, who that? Where's the scout at? Oh, Bobo's taking care of him. Alrighty. Now we need to find out that the two chieftains used to be inside the. Used to be inside the the uh, little fort here. You actually had to go inside and work your way over to them. Looks like, I bet if the other one's outside now, he's got a little encampment on the outside. I bet they did that in order to, you know, part of the, part of making things easier where they make it so that the uh, players no longer have to go into these hard, hard camps anymore. Because in all honesty, yeah, that can be a bit of a tough fight. If you're doing it by yourself, wow, look at there, Long Tusk Scrub Runner. That is another thing to remember, level 22, is that the levels do get high faster when you're on this side of town. You do start running into... You do start running into some higher level critters. You have to be careful 
wandering out the the far side wandering out the east side of the midgewater here where is the other chieftain I know in the past he was really right literally right next door to the first one so did I miss him does he have a little encampment too that I've already missed go around the corner and go up shall we Gotta find Guz's room now. <laughs> the target is already dead. And we have wandered out of the goblin hole, so let's go back in. Where was the first guy's camp? It was right there with that, right there with that warrior standing, right? Yeah, that's Gerstatz. We killed him. Said I thought the other one was right, right next to him. They said they weren't very far apart, so they could keep an eye on each other, didn't they? All right, where are you at, buddy? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, not trying to slide down the hill. Do you mind taking care of that for me? Thank you. Good grief, where's the other guy's camp at? This is very strange, very strange indeed. I would have swore in the past, I mean, they were like literally right next to each other. Alright, here's Gerstatz. The other guy inside? Well, let's check and see. One way of taking out the guys at the gates. Cracked her them to death. Two more down. Ooh, some nasty. Okay. I don't see them. Where did they go? All right, well, let's get away from the dread pole here. And I don't see any sign. Oh, there we go, Gershrum. Knew he was somewhere, damn. They used to both be inside here. Guzram is down to. Yeah, they both used to be inside this camp. They were like on opposite sides of it. Let's see if I can crack dirt the heck out of him here. Boom. Thank you, Bobo. Glad you were down to take part of the brunt. Yeah, they used to be both on opposite sides of the camp. Like, one was where that guy was, and the other one was just up the hill a little way. So, I didn't remember this guy. Oh, crap. Don't remember these guys being sitting here ready to set me on fire. Okay, so Bill Mossfoot, two chieftains. We can go speak to him now. And we can talk to him by scouting the marshes. And then we can go see about those spiders. And we've almost hit the 20-minute mark. Man, not only is the, the days going by fast, the time is going by fast, too. It is as I feared, Narine. If the goblins have already spread so far throughout the mar Midgewater marshes, they intend to stay. If it were not for the spider infestation at the ruins in the northern stretch of the marshes, I would expect the goblins to seize those as well. 
the threat of fire. The increasing number of goblins in the Midgewater Marshes troubles me, true, but I'm even more concerned about the weapons some of them appear to be wielding. Swords and axes are bad enough, but the strange ore some of these goblins carry is likely to do much greater damage. I am not thinking only of the farms and crops of Staddle, though the threat of fire to food and pipeweed is immense. I am thinking of the little folk. There is a threat beyond them, I think. The more of those fire-wielding goblins we can defeat in the marshes, the fewer remain to threaten Staddle. I need you to deal with them quickly. So defeat Midgewater Sappers. We can do that. And let's talk to him about the two chieftains. Well done, Narwene. With those two dealt with, I think our immediate concerns for Staddle would be closed. Return to watch a Redweed and Staddle and tell him of your success here. We'll do that as well. All right, so I think we are going to call that there because we are already looking at about 20 minutes on the clock. And I'd like to get another uh, regular episode up today as well, up this morning as well. And since I got to go back to work tonight, we'll have to get working on that. So next time we will talk to, we will defeat the marsh spiders. We will collect some sickle fly wings for our Neeker friend over here. And we'll see if we can take out some of the Midgewater Sappers too. So there you go, folks. I hope y'all are having a good one. And in the meantime, I am going to sit here and ponder about just where did I leave Narlo last? It's a bad thing, misplacing your Narlo. We'll see you next time. Thanks for coming along. Bye-bye.